King Collector here and today we are once again working on the boat. This is part three of the series and in today's video we're going to be uh, kind of switching this up a little bit and uh, as you can see I've already got some work done. did it last night and I realized oh I should be recording this so yeah uh, I stopped immediately and now I get to show you what I've done. Granted it's not much you didn't miss a lot so Anyways, um, basically, we just, uh, we got rid of these things, which is what this was attached to originally. It was like way back here. So we cut those off, uh, drilled out the rivets on this thing, and uh, now, basically, we are uh, moving this forward so I can have some more leg room up here, and the people in the back can have a uh, little more leg room as well. And uh, yeah, the engine as well also will have a little more room. So moving this forward solved a lot of issues. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, I also put on the front navigation lights just so they don't get lost. Red one's in there. And I just hot wired them to a battery to make sure they are actually going to work decent. And well, they ran for an hour and none of the LEDs died. So I think we're good on that. Anyways, I just got back from Lowe's and I picked up two sheets, four by eight foot of uh, pressure treated plywood here. This is the stuff you want for uh, boats because it is water resistant and fungi resistant. So uh, that will be going up here. We're going to just get it cut and sitting on this stuff we're not going to drill it down yet because we still have some plumbing and wiring to do under here so uh, yeah we'll just cut it to fit and we'll call it good for now uh, I also got some more aluminum stock although I don't think I'll need it did uh, get my receipt just in case I do end up returning it but uh, yeah, anyways, that's pretty much all that's been done. Now you guys are all on for the ride, and we're going to uh, probably start off by uh, cutting this off. And, uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. All right, so Lowe's did not have any of the uh, cutting wheels I need for the angle grinder. So we have to improvise a little bit. Uh, good thing about this one is it cuts a lot more straight. Anyways, I got the metal etched where I need it. These are the cross or the uh, pieces that go uh, parallel with the boat, the ones that sit across from each cross member. I don't know how else to explain it. So we'll just uh, cut off this part first and. And now this is where things get kind of dangerous. We have to literally cut right at this corner here. And that requires me to do this number, which don't do this, please. It's not safe in the slightest, so don't do it. Okay, we have our two pieces uh, shortened to fit now. And just go like that on each side. It's that easy. All right, there we go. The uh, whole floor is reinstalled now. Uh, we just have these uh, little end pieces on the side. So, I'm not sure what I'll do with those yet, but I guess we'll find out. 
All right, so for decking we have this really, really nice piece of pressure treated lumber. You want to do pressure treated because it is water and fungi resistant and in a boat that will be receiving water all the time, it's a good idea. So that's what this is. Uh, we got two sheets actually, because we're gonna build the dashboard and everything in this video. So anyways, we need to uh, cut it to 50 and a half inches, which will be probably about right here, I wanna say. Somewhere like that. Okay, so we got our line etched, as you can see. And I got a brand new blade for the jigsaw here, because the old one kept popping off because it broke in three different places. So, we should be all set to uh, cut this thing. Hopefully we don't mess it up. kind of set it on top of the boat so we can trace it and get it nice and perfect. Okay, so now we need to basically just trace the hole on the underside of that thing. That'll be fun to do. So I guess I'll get that going. Okay, so I got my line etched, which is this one. Basically, I took measurements every six inches on the floor bracing, got a rough estimate, and I'm going to basically uh, kind of do it the hard way, and that is just uh, not quite cut on the line, but just a little bit past it. And uh, we'll keep trimming it down after that until it's a perfect fit and then we can uh, make our little front cone piece as well. So that's what we're gonna do. So some light trimming later, things in there almost perfect. Uh, we will be putting some uh, sealer in the uh, very corners where the wall meets the floor just to uh, get it water tight and then we'll be throwing some carpet on top of it so it'll look perfect. So now let's get the uh, little triangle piece up here done and then uh, I'm thinking we'll close this up in here somewhere because we have this down here and that will cause issues. So I'm thinking we just uh, close that up completely. A lot of bolts are like that anyway. So that's probably what we'll do then. And that's it for the front deck. We don't need to do anything else with it. So uh, of course, like I say, we're not going to screw it down yet because we still have to get the gas tank, battery, everything still needs to go down there. So uh, we'll just kind of keep this out of the way. And uh, I guess we could put in the holes, like the bolt holes and stuff, if we wanted to. Which, uh, you know, that might be handy for when we do the dashboard over there because that's what we're doing next. So maybe we'll just put two in for now and call it good, just so it stays on the ground. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we got this cleaned up down here. It's nice and flush now, fits really nicely. So now we're on to making the dashboard, which I've already got the 
uh, shape etched out towards the bottom where the aluminum angle is is 50 inches and towards the top just below that little uh, corrugated rail thing that goes all around the top of the boat is 54 and a half inches so it has this kind of diagonal on each side here so let's get that cut out and hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's correct all right got it cut out had to do some trimming once again I am purposely making them big so I can get them as tight as uh, possible and uh, there we go it's not as tall as I was expecting it to be but I think I can make it work so we'll just roll with it I really don't want to go out and have to buy more wood these sheets were about sixty dollars so yeah not very cheap so we have to just make do with whatever we get basically um, so yeah now I'm going to uh, probably actually reuse some of this old aluminum here because this is expensive too so we'll probably reuse some of it and make a bracket that holds it in there like so Bam, there we go. All right, so this is what we got so far. Got the uh, front piece of the dashboard in there. And this is this little box kind of deal. I think we'll call that good for that. Everything is just kind of sitting there, kind of, uh, friction fit right now because like I say we need to be able to get back under the deck here to install a gas tank and all that good stuff so it's all going pretty well um, of course the cuts aren't very good because that jigsaw is pretty crappy but it doesn't matter because this will all be carpet anyway so all the imperfections all the imperfections will be hidden and uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do the windshield I know it will be the aluminum angle stuff that will be mainly holding it on but I'm not really sure how to mount it to this piece right here all right so I think I came up with a half decent plan for the gas tank I'm literally just going to uh, take some of this actually this boat came with some extra over here so that's what we're going to use that for we'll just uh, make some bolt holes mount it through the original factory holes in the gas tank uh, so two pieces there and then there will be another angle bringing it up and then it will be hanging under here so that's the only thing I can think of so that's what we're going to roll with all right, so it's a few days later. I finally figured out what I wanted to do for the gas tank, and I made these. Pretty basic mounting solution, and they literally just go under like that, and they will hang off of the floor bracketing. It's a very basic way to do it, and it's going to work. So that's what we're doing. And there we go. That is our mounting bracket for the gas tank. And now I will show you exactly how we're going to put it in. All right, there we go, just like that. That is how it will be mounted in. I don't think I'll need extra bracing, uh, but maybe. I just don't know right now. Uh, this thing does get pretty heavy when it's full and when it's banging around in the wakes and stuff like that. It might wear out those uh, rivets, so I might just throw in some bracing under it to uh, help prevent that. Because, uh, yeah, I'd rather not have, uh, rather not hit a wave and then it just completely give out and dump gas everywhere in the uh, bilge. So, 
I don't know. I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll just fill it up with water to get it full weight and then just see, kind of shake the boat around and just see what it does. So, anyways, uh, let's actually get the uh, bracketry in. Basically, I just mounted it to the tank first so I could get the width and all the random measurements all correct. So, uh, let's do that. All right, got it in. It's rock solid, too. I uh, did not film it because it was a lot of frustration and uh, the only thing you'd be seeing was the top of my head. So just did it off camera and oh, here we are, gas tanks installed. All right, so today we are making this front cone whatever thing. I don't really know what to call it. Basically, it'll be flush with the top here. And yeah, that's it. I've already got a couple pieces measured out, so let's go cut them. So this is where we're at right now. We got pretty much all the front wood pieces cut out and just kind of sitting in here as usual because we don't want to fasten anything down yet. Nothing is final on this right now. But the general shape is complete. So we still have to get the windshield in here, although I, I still need to figure out how I'm going to do that. Uh, we have our front cone piece in now. We have the dashboard, deck, all that good stuff. So, I think that's where we're going to uh, call it good for this video. So, I do have the gas tank down in there still. And basically what I did is I took my phone and took a picture of it with the deck on here. I just stuck it in there and took a picture. And it looks like it has enough room for a 90 degree silicone piece for the fill pipe thing. And I think that's going to work. So that is very promising in terms of that kind of stuff where we didn't really know what would happen. So I don't really know what I'm going to do next. That silicone crap is very expensive. It's very expensive stuff for what it is. And uh, I would like to get the 670 and just kind of throw it back here to see how it's going to look. So that would also mean we could get our engine compartment kind of built up, but I don't know. So anyways, I think that'll do it for this video. Stay tuned for part four, I think it will be now. I don't know. I spent so much time on this video, so I'm kind of disoriented in terms of that. Anyways, stay tuned for the next video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video.